So here I'm going to show you what exactly you have to do when you log into your TWS. So when you first log in, I will show you the login prompt later on at the end of this video, but when you log in, you will get a message like this. Okay, you'll get this kind of a message. You'll get a pop-up uh, You'll get a pop up here, which is going to be something like this. Okay, and then you'll get a warning message saying that this is not a brokerage account. It's a paper trading. Just click, uh, wait for the whole thing to load. Okay, once you want to, the whole soft file is loaded. It's pretty big. Then you click and just say, I understand and accept. So then you have this. You have a opportunity to take a quick tour later on. You can do it on your own time. But right now I say not now, just get started. Okay, then I go and maximize this. So I have a big screen. Okay, so this is your mosaic. If you want, you can always operate here. If you if you want, you can add your tickers over here. But I'm gonna show you a more um, <clears throat> sort of intuitively it's a little easier i just want to focus on data entry initially because i want you to do your analytics and other using other slight uh, you know some of the analytics will be done using other software so here this is the screen that you're going to see when you log in okay so what you have to do is you have to add the tickers here how would you know what the tickers are let's go to nsc okay and um, okay so let's say how would you go to the nsc i've a little bit gone ahead a little bit here so let me go and start from the beginning when you go to the nsc web page you will see uh this you'll look at live market look at equity stock really stupid terminology but this is what they have so you got to click on equity stock and immediately it gives you the default view that it gives you is the nifty 50. if you want you can always take other sectoral indices but we stick with a default view just make sure that it's showing you the nifty 50 then you'll see this okay so you have all the nifty 50 stocks and you can see here right now we are interested in this particular column which is the last traded price which we're going to compare with our uh, platform ibtws platform prices to make sure that the data is live okay so here you look at you see all the tickers if you want you can get more information on the tickers here but essentially it gives you that these are the tickers okay so in in fee means this is the ticket for infosys okay so um yeah this is the, these are the tickers so let's just look at so this is what you are going to compare with you're going to focus on the last traded price column and uh, change this will give you an easy way to locate the column when we go down because uh, changes in green or red okay so let's look at this and let's you'll have to keep refreshing the page because this is not an auto refresh so now we go back to the platform okay you have a whole bunch of these things uh, if you want you can add another here I do plus here create a new custom layout let's call it NSE so to understand our terminology better NSC cash equities okay now this cash here is meant to con uh, to be used in contradicts the distinction with uh, derivatives okay this is not equity derivatives but it is cash equities this cash is not the same as instruments trading value today where the transaction date is the same as the settlement date this is not that kind of cash we use the word cash in a different context when we are comparing it to derivatives so energy cash equities why am i giving it this kind of uh, name because this is meant to um, the software is so sophisticated to keep changing it step one select one or more trading tools to arrange the tools just gonna have lock in order entry okay and I don't know okay I don't want to have order entry um, I have a watch list as well okay this is getting very complicated here they've changed the okay let me go back to the classic TWS I want to have a classic uh, they've changed the ways to create the classic layout 
see here. M for NSE. Okay, the better way. Okay, just click there and go there. Okay, so uh, we start with the NSE instrument. So let me first add, let's say, ITC. What I'm going to do initially is I want to try. Now, when you when you add ITC, you will see that there are many options. When you enter any ticker, you will see many options. We are not interested in ITC Holdings Corporation. Okay, we are interested in ITC Limited on the NSC, and we are not interested in futures. We are not interested in options. Right now, we are only interested in the stock, which is the cash equity market. Okay, so you can see this now. The font is very small, so try and do the configuration here okay I want to really I like big fonts okay so let's go to display settings and see if we can increase the font size where are maybe it's in uh, general style okay so the font I like is okay let it be in banana no problem but the font size of 14 is too small so let's make it 26 works it's now it's a little bit on now it's become too big but I want to change this I want to be able to see the bid and ask very clearly and I want to see the last price very clearly okay so we'll change this back um, 26 is again too big we want to change it to uh, maybe 20 for our purposes 20 apply okay it's a little bit better okay so we have itc now what do we see here how we're what we're doing at this stage is we are testing for the uh, whether the data is live or not we have already tested the two tests that we do here the first is uh, the test to see whether the login information that i've given you is working to able to get you into this particular software environment please make sure you enter your data correctly so that uh, when you tell me that it's not working, please make sure you test it correctly, you've entered the password correctly, etc. All right, so let's look at now what we are testing now, having been able to successfully enter into the software, we are now testing to see whether the NSC data is actually live or is it delayed, okay? So delayed means usually it will come with a 15 minute delay. We want to make sure that it's actually live, okay? So let's look at the 274, so this green and red stuff means um, this last price that you see 274.30 is up from the previous price again the red means that the bid and ask are down from the previous uh, bid and ask okay so let's look at it now 274.30 274.25 now you can see that's why from 30 to 25 that's why this line is red okay all right so the time now is 10.38 let's try and see 274.30 now this is where we're going to have to test it okay um let's we don't need this we don't need this okay right we are going to test it against what this nsc feed is a little delayed we are going to test it against google finance so go to google finance um let's go to google look for finance Okay, this is already in Google Finance. So check for Google Finance and then go for here. We want to go for ITC. Okay, so it'll give you this option go for ITC limited NSE because NSE is actually pumping out live data into all these platforms. You see, it's 1039 IST, it is already 1039. Then the data is check for five days to see where we are relative to. Okay, click the five day chart so you know where we are in terms of. Uh, the price or actually one day would be better because you can see the previous day's closing price 
Okay, so 274.25 is the price at 1039. And let's see our platform price. Well, it's 30, but it's very close. So it is back to 25. So I think from this, it's fairly clear. See, it's hovering between 25 and 30, the last traded price. And it is um, here also is 25 and 30. So if you see, um, it's already 50 here. So 30 means it's here, very close. Okay, very close. So 25 and 30. Um, you refresh it once again at 1040 what is the price 25 it's still 25 so I think it's fairly clear now that this data is live okay because you can see it's very close to the um, to the price that you see on so this is actually in a way it's very strange that we're testing uh, software live data against web page live data and here too you can see the NSE is pumping out this is much better you don't have to refresh it if you go to Yahoo Finance at 10:40, it's 25:30. You can see 10:41. Okay, 274.25. Let's look at it. It is 25. It just changed to 30. In fact, if you start looking, if you have, if you can use two screens and you start looking carefully, you will see that this uh, live data, because it is actually li real live data that's coming straight from the exchange, and the exchange here is filtering out some of the changes. So what you might see, the, the price moves from 274.25 to 274.45. Some of the steps through it, it through which it jumps uh, in the way in the course of going uh, from 25 to 45 it will some of those steps will not be shown on these web page live updates but they will show up on your software which is actually because the software is really coming straight from the exchange servers without any filtering so this is what you see okay so now we are fairly sure that and then since IDC is a live data it's fairly clear that everything else will also be live data let's add one more stock which we know to be very actively traded let's trade um, now we have to look at uh, okay let's look at in fee okay so I'm gonna add in fee if you add a ticker you just click on one of the rows do in fee type in fee and hit enter when you hit enter you have multiple options you can see Infosys ADR on the NYSE this is not what we are interested in so you have to go down and see again Infosys NSE we're not interested in the futures not in the options we are only interested in the stock well actually this should be the cash uh, market stock uh, which is oddly enough cash market because it's not a derivative market uh, but technically it is actually trading value spot okay so here we see uh, NSE uh, prices let's test this one also just to be sure because we want to be before we conclude that we are actually getting uh, sorry so kick click for infi type infi infi make sure you do not choose this because this is new york uh, uh, stock exchange i guess the uh, the um, adr you don't want to click that you want to click nfi.ns which is uh, nse all right now you see at 1043 nse is trading at um, uh, so sorry not NSE but in fee is trading at 715.85 you can see how it is uh, just look at one day's movement no, it's not really a one day chart there's something wrong here so there's something wrong with the charting functions actually uh, but anyway it doesn't matter we are not interested in the charting function so much but we want to look at the data 715 75 at 1044 okay and what is it 715 70 80 so it is reasonably close and here you can see the time 1044 27 so 80 85 it's also 85. 
again moving between 80 and 85 so i think we can fair it's fair it's gone to 90 see this is also 90 okay so now it's fairly clear that now it's going to 90 95 that will show 95 yeah so you can see now uh, that uh, we got a second confirmation from an emphasis as well that the data is live okay, for one of the logins that i'm testing but you still need to test it for your logins because we want to make sure that all the logins are working for all your teams you have three logins each make sure that one of the logins is not touched you set up the accounts you set up the stocks all the nifty 50 stocks and then uh, you make sure that you trade you do your practice trading in only two of the accounts ideally leave the first account that i've given given you leave that as the project trading account and then do the last two logins that I've given you and use that for practice. And what are you going to do? How are you going to practice? We'll add one more ticker to the safe. Let's add the uh, HDFC bank. Okay. Once again, I click on this HDFC. If you click on it again, housing development finance. No, this is we okay. We'll just choose this. Okay. It's actually not HDFC bank. It's HDFC that we are looking at. Remember that these are different companies so here again we don't want the futures and options which are derivative contracts we are looking in where we're interested in the cash market we click stock and we get the hdfc 224025. 25. what is the uh, 224090? but let's look at hdfc just here not hdfc bank I said HDFC bank we're not interested in HDFC bank but anyway what we'll do is uh, we will test it for the bank for some reason these guys are not showing just make sure that it's part of the nifty it is it will be there I'm pretty sure it'll be there just test it or let's test uh, TCS see now you see TCS so many other companies could be called TCS we're not interested in all this container store group we want Katara consultancy on the NSE check the exchange we don't want futures options we want only the stock so TCS is 210275 uh, let's go for TCS Twenty-one or two thirty, ten forty-seven. Twenty-one or two forty-five. Let's see. Okay, we got it back to thirty. Figure ten. So that zero zero is called figure. Sixty oh one sixty oh one ten is dropping quite fast. Obviously, uh, <clears throat> so twenty-one oh one ten. So you can see here. This is where you see the difference between. Uh, how superior the the software feed is compared to in a stock which is dropping very fast you can see how fast this is changing but all these uh, updates are not going to come to the web page okay 2101 figure 48 and it is already a figure so this is also live uh, but you can see how fast the star the software based feed is uh, changing okay so we are done now what we want to do is just practice trading a little bit suppose i have a bearish view on tcs what i do is i look at the chart now this chart is a little bit odd here let's look at tcs startup consultancy stock nse it's only a 15 minute chart not really good enough but let's look at one week Okay, it's pretty high up. Um, okay, now let's look at 60 minutes. Okay, this is actually this is not a stock that one wants to be. I'm not sure if this high is higher than this high. We can find that out. We can look for TCS and TCS on the NSE Data Consultancy Services here. Let's look at TCS. Let's look at how near data. Okay, this 
some problem with the with this chart. We'll, we'll form the view later. Let's see what the problem. There seems to be a problem with the chart. Everywhere you go, there is a problem with the chart. Okay, only on the line chart there's no problem. Let's assume that this is a new high. Okay, so there is a problem here because um, let's see if we can get this is TCS. I want a better chart actually. I want uh, um, you can check the chart from Money Control. They have much better charts. But anyway, let's assume that here's my stop. Now let's assume that I'm actually bullish on this stock. Okay. If you get line chart data, it's much easier to track. Okay. So if we track even max, it should be okay. Yeah. Here we are. It looks like a very strong uptrend. We don't want uh, logarithmic scaling. We want linear scaling. All right, so we have this and we look at one year and here I'm saying that let's say my stop is 2048. So 2047 is the stop. This is the previous low from which a new high was made. So I form a bullish view on this. Now the stock is, this is giving me an opportunity to buy the stock as it has fallen a lot uh, from the highest point. I'm assuming this is higher than the previous high and uh, it's giving me an opportunity to buy and I'm going to set the stop here because if it breaks below this then the pattern of higher highs and higher lows is broken uh, well invalidates my assumption so I'm going to buy it here so how do I buy it now I could buy it at market now we've discussed buying at market so what do I do these are bid and offer prices you know the bid is so smaller than the offer okay so I because this is the market maker quoting prices we'll come up we'll cover all this later once again but i'm just giving you a summary the market maker quotes prices just like you look at a money changers for an exchange trading prices money the the market maker wants to buy at a lower price and sell to you at a higher price always and you will have to deal on his prices so i want to buy it immediately i don't want to waste my time here because i think there's a great opportunity to buy this so i immediately go ahead and buy it at market okay so here you have different types of options we'll discuss these kinds of orders later on many different types of orders but right now i'm interested in a market order i want to buy 100 shares okay you can make it even one share if you want let's make it a little bit bigger let's make it a thousand shares thousand shares this is valid uh, we don't really have to worry it's a market order we get executed immediately this is market order transmit it this is another no problem I don't have a problem with this override change the limit limit of uh, this is the limit that you can change okay uh, the automatic the default limit is 500 shares you can change the limit if you want to okay, change the limit or you just update update uh, I'm going to bother. I will just ignore. I'll override and transmit this order. Notice it doesn't say anything to you about the delayed data. Okay, it's another proof that your uh, <clears throat> the another proof. This is another proof that your data is live. Okay. Notice while I've been explaining all this to you, how the price is dropping even more. Okay. I was going to buy it at 2102. This is 2101 now. It's dropped a lot. I override and transmit. Partially filled. See how the order is getting filled. Order in partially filled. I want thousand order shares. Partially filled. See how long it takes to buy a thousand shares. Order partially filled. I bought only six hundred so far. Six forty-five. Order partially filled. Order partially filled. Now the order is filled. Order filled. Yeah. See. So now you see. If you want to go to your trade log, you want to see maximize this okay so the trade log at a summary level tells you that you bought a thousand shares of TCS at 21 average price this is your average price of 2180 uh, pesos. now you look at this breakdown okay see how long it takes to buy a uh, thousand shares in India 
and this is about the best platform that you can get for any kind of stock and any kind of cash market derivative market trading anywhere in the world the, the best trading software anywhere in the world look at how long it takes in the indian market this shows you the liquidity of the market thousand shares is nothing really actually if you think about it but see how long it takes to buy a thousand shares compare this to the u.s markets and you'll see what i mean by developed uh, equity market or developed financial market okay so now now look at this i've got a problem to worry about okay rehashing some of the concepts average price it's telling me my average price is 2103.47 half okay why is this uh average price okay i think that has to do with the uh the brokerage that has been charged okay i'll have to get into that why this average price is or it may be some mark to market element also let's worry about that later we've got a thousand shares to worry about this is my position thousand shares it's in green because you're long and you're already losing money okay because you bought at 2103 now it's already dropping now i have to make sure that i protect my losses where did i put my stop i said my stop should be on 2048 so let's make it a little roundabout round figure and let's make it because i can't get um, the so you in practice what you would do is you go to money control and uh, get the actual chart you can do charts here also dcs let's right click on it okay trading tools analytical tools um, diamond sales where's the chart okay the charts they have a separate category new chart okay two days five minutes candles that's not what i want you can just go here I want to go to a daily chart very good see I got a daily chart now I'm not interested in the volume okay I just want to look at the chart now so this actually confirms for me that okay, this actually confirms for me that I is okay. So I'm losing this amount of money. So let me just actually, I am just interested in this below here. Why is it okay? Here, here, I got the low. See, when I position it here, see what the low is. This is the 24th of May. If you look at the bottom left of my screen. Uh, the 24th of May, it says my lowest point is 2032.45. See if I move it, the figures keep changing. So this is the point that I'm concerned about, okay? 2032.45. So let's say I say that 2032.45 gets broken. That invalidates my assumption based on which I've done the trade so i place it at say something below 2032.45 maybe i just say 2032.25 you could also say 4 2032.4 okay if you see how this is trading 50 70 in lots of uh, five you basically get a five gap here yeah so you have 80 75 so you could actually place it at 40 just to be on the safe side i'm, I'm going to show you the exact strict way to do it so 2032.45 so if it trades at 2032.4 that means it's broken this level okay so i'm going to place my stop at 2032.4 if now what i've got this i've got a position okay so what i've got to do is i've got a sell order because i'll be selling when i sell i'll be selling on the bid price so i've got to place uh, let me try and see if i can pull through the position um, I just click on the position okay now uh, what I want to do is 
I want to um, okay, give a sell order. Okay, the quantity should be thousand, and the sell order should not be limit, should not be market, but. but in this case I'm putting a stop order okay to limit so I'm going to put a stop the code is STP yeah so it's a stop order that thing has disappeared somewhere anyway okay I just right click on it I do order entry okay I got back to that okay so it remembers what I entered I want to sell order okay I want the same position quantities thousand and I want it to be a stop order and what is the stop level okay now what did we read off from the chart we read off uh, 2032.45 is the low, so we said that our trigger is 2032.4. So I'm going to set the stop trigger level here. Um, 2032.4. Okay. What is the time in force? I don't want it to be just a cheat day order. I want this order to be, this is the time in force field, okay? Um, and it tells you that we only fill orders during trading hours. In the NSC platform, uh, you don't have an option to fill outside trading hours. So uh, these are your trading hours, 9.15 to 3.30, okay? Um, that's what you have, okay? So. Uh, this is my uh, these are the elements of the order size of the order what type of order is it? it's the stop order what's the stop trigger level and what is the time in force for the order this is GTC which stands for good to cancel Let's see if there's anything else we might add from the advanced uh, destination in a C yes because here we don't have a choice okay attach stop loss profit take a bracket we're not going to do that at this side one cancel the other no problem at this stage we don't need this we just submit the order and once again it tells you that um, the order size exceeds the limit you're about to submit to review the value various stop order types that are available fine you're not worried about this i override and transmit okay order cell will be automatically cancelled at 2019-1231 okay that's uh, 31st december thank you interactive brokers this is a facility as far as you as i know that you only get in uh, interactive brokers on this platform the any changes you have made to it, including adding new tickers are in okay let's close the window okay this particular order which we came which this is just a Deleted. It's not there. So we got our still order. Okay. So what you have right now is you have a thousand shares of. Um, we have a thousand shares of um, TCS, which we bought, and uh, then of course as soon as we bought it, we started losing money. We wanted to protect our losses. We identified a point on the chart that at which our. Um, since I went long, in this case it's below which our view would be invalidated okay uh, simple high low high low very simple way to approach it okay um, and here you can see the software is actually showing you where your stop is because we placed the stop over here remember 21 uh, whatever it is 20 30 to 40 so we went long and then we put the stop over there okay so now we are done and this system will watch your stop for till the 31st of December now here's the beauty of the software one of the reasons why I call it the best software in the world many many other reasons you can explore the software but um, one of the important reasons is on in the Indian market as far as I know I mean the last time I checked it was a couple of years ago but uh, you cannot place stop orders uh, the Indian platforms that you have, most of them are based on one or two basic software platforms like Odin or whatever. Uh, you cannot place uh, stop orders or any order for a GTC basis. GTC means put till cancel. Leave it in the system until I come and cancel it. 
you can't use GTC orders on Indian software platforms, which is a bit of a pain for people who are trading from a long-term view. Because when I look at TCS and take this view, I don't expect, I expect this to not go below this and eventually go to new highs above 2300. I don't expect it to happen today. So it will take, you know, a few months. I'm not going to sell the shares. I'm going to hold on to it and try to buy some more as it starts going up. So what uh, the what I really need is the basic risk management uh, facility of protecting my maximum loss. Okay. Now, uh, if if I have that, I can just do this trade and I can just go home, uh, go home, go on a holiday or something like that. I'm not really worried because I know how much I'm going to lose. Okay, so this is a, uh, what the system does here, why the software is so superior. They have access to the NSC feed, they're connected to the servers, and they're giving you a facility where the, the software is simulating the uh, stop order. Most exchange software does not support orders beyond a day period. Most exchange software, so the native exchange software that is a native NSE or the NYSE or the NASDAQ server software. So it's the superiority of the broker software that helps you to trade in a more sophisticated way by using orders like GTC, which will remain in place in this particular case till 12th of December, uh, 31st December 2019. So now uh, here's one of the reasons this is and so what let's do one more calculation just we have already done this but we can do it one more time how much am i going to lose let's just take their uh, average uh, uh, trading price as a I'm, my average price is uh, okay my average price is uh, 2103.48 it's a 2103.5 okay so how much can I lose? What's the maximum loss on this? Let's assume that the stop is triggered. And I want to see this. Yeah. So my stop triggers 2032.4. Now here you have to be a little bit conservative. If, if the market triggers the order 2032.4, it's unlikely that they'll be able to sell 1,000 shares. You saw how long it took. So you have to assume that by the time, on average price that you at which you will sell your shares is not 2032.4, it's probably going to be something like 20, 30, to be on the conservative side, you should really uh, budget 21, 30, 20, 31.5, conservative budgeting. So how much can you lose? 20, 31.5 minus 2103.48 times 1000. If you write the expression like that in a spreadsheet, that tells you your maximum loss. 2031.5. I'm not going to click that because I'm going to show you some passwords and stuff. Okay. All right. So we can do it somewhere. You can easily do it. What are you going to do? Your maximum projected loss here 2031.5 conservative estimate of the actual selling price for 1000 shares if the stop is triggered. Minus. 2103.48 that's the loss per share it will come up with a minus uh, sign multiplied by the number of shares just thousand shares okay on the selling side you also have to add the brokerage or find out the brokerage per share from the interactive brokers web page which I've given you find out the commissions for the NSC all right so that's it we have a position in um, NSE cash equities okay we bought TCS let's see how this does now we're going to close this account and then I'll show you one more time how to actually launch it okay are you sure you want to exit yes I don't need this message once again the layout is you must be locked before the application can be lock it and exit this is the lock so one of the problems with the software is it's so big, very powerful software, please explore all this stuff, okay? You may not get all the functionality with NSE data, but later on when we do the um, US equity option trading software, you will get this. So if you follow the instructions that I gave you for downloading the software and you have Java enabled on your software, on your machine, you will get this icon just click this icon 
it will launch it sometimes takes a long time to download latest updates and stuff like that. It's a very big piece of software. It takes a long time to launch, long time to close, and uh, so you should budget for that. Okay. All right. So this is what you're going to get. Make sure you're not in live trading. Make sure you're in paper trading. That will be the automatic uh, thing. Similarly, your trading thing will show you here your username. Enter your username, ABCD123, whatever it is. Enter the passwords that have been sent to you. Please guard your username and password carefully within your group. I don't want to see anybody saying, oh, Ritesh stole my password, this, that. None of this crybaby stuff. You guard your password properly, okay? So uh, this is what you do. You enter your username and password, then it'll take a long time to log in, but eventually you'll go back to the same login prompt that uh, I showed you at the very beginning of this video where it was talking about a little pop-up box this is not a real brokerage account I understand and accept you have to click that that's where you'll be so you know now how to log in how to install the software to log in how to check that your NSC data is live how to enter NSC tickers any ticker and how to uh, we had a recap on how to form a very quick technical view very simple how to enter the position how to trade how to set a stop how to calculate your losses all this stuff has been covered okay that ends your uh, tutorial here Let's close this.